Hello, floss tube stitchers. Since this is the Valentine episode, I changed a little bit of the backdrop to some Valentine and heart pictures that were elsewhere um, in the shop, high up on the walls or on a shelf where it would be difficult to film. So I moved them over here and I'll be showing you a couple minute video of three different areas of the shop that have Valentine models on display. And then I'll show an individual close-up picture of each one. So that will come after this. And then I will show you new product that came and my progress on freebie February stitching. Okay, thanks. Okay, so this is what came in the last week, I guess. Heartstring Samplery has number two in the Sunday Stitches series. This is Be Thou My Vision. And we can still take signups for that if you're interested, or even if you just want to wait and see what each of the 12 hymn verses are going to be, you can wait and order them later. Uh, you just have to order them from a shop who's on their automatic. All right, and then Jardin Privé, the 12 days of Christmas, 
This had been out of stock for a while, so I finally got that in. March in a Jar from Romy's Creations. Be Mine Always from Scissor Tail Designs. And then Stitching with the Housewives, the latest truck is April. And then they also have Bunny Bakery. And here comes Peter Cottontail. Waxing Moon, we finally, finally got April, May, and June from that monthly series. Jelly Bean Jubilee from With Thy Needle. So there's four featured on the front cover and three more on the back. And it's really a lovely book, all in color. Um, just very easy to read. All the information you need is in there. I can't show it to you because it'll show part of the chart, but anyway, really quality book. So I was very impressed with that. And then we're carrying a new designer called Primrose Cottage Stitches. And you may know them from the quilting world. It's a mom and a few daughters who are very talented and you will see their quilting influence in their style of design. This is Boobash. This is Hugs and Kisses. And Carrot Farm is a current sale going on. And Christmas Tree Farm. I know it's off season, but I just wanted to show all of the ones that they have so far. And then we got a few new products. One is for your scissors so that family members or you don't forget what they're used for. So it's called a three pack scissor ID and it's from It's So Emma, which is a division of Fat Quarter Shop associated with Lori Holt. And there's three different colors and on the ends, it shows a picture of what they're used for. So paper, thread, and fabric. And I, I don't really need those. Most of my good scissors are put away with my stitching supplies and of course my fabric shears. Um, two of them are at the shop and one of them is on my ironing board at home. My husband doesn't really bother those, but you may have family members that are always digging into your drawers looking for um, scissors. So this would probably help um, keep them identified so they don't use the wrong one for the wrong purpose and then you have to get them sharpened more often. And then this is also in It's So Emma. They're called library card labels and that's what the front looks like. And so it's a pocket that gets taped onto the back of your finished framed piece and you can put in the label with all the information. They're acid free and you can use the It's So Emma finishing tape, which we carry to put those on. And the label, I didn't take this apart, but uh, it looks like a library card. So it'll say um, date and issued to, and you can put all the personal information about who it's from and who it's to, and maybe a little bit about um, the materials used and that sort of thing. So we got those as well. All right, I remembered to have my whiteboard handy so that it was easier to show you the free charts and the progress that I've made on Freebie February this week. I don't have a chart for the first one though because it can be found on a Facebook post. And when I tried to print it, in order to get it big enough to you know, fit a sheet so that it was easier to see to stitch from, uh, it just got blurrier and blurrier. So I actually worked from my iPad. So I will hopefully remember to insert the picture uh, of the chart after this so you can see what the whole design is. But it's called Halloween 2019 by a new company that I just discovered called Crochet Agogo. And this is what I got done so far. Obviously it's Halloween. I'm stitching it on 
oops, let's see, I forgot to check my Facebook post. I think it's Nocturne, 32 Count Belfast from Picture This Plus. And uh, I tried to, I always try to find the meaning of the foreign words. And so I, I did, I translate for crochet a go go. And of course, it didn't come out to anything that made sense. But crochet, I figured meant crosses. But anyway, I emailed the designer because she does sell wholesale. So now I have an account and I'll be able to get other charts besides just the free ones. Her name is Marula. And we had a lovely Facebook and um, email conversation. And I, I told her about my troubles with translating it. And I wondered if it had a meaning. And she said, no, it's an Italian saying. It doesn't really have a real meaning. But she said it, it, it could translate to plenty of spreaders or endless spreads, which <laughs> I think that's cute or crosses galore. So it just it just means lots of crosses here at this location. Um, I told her that if we were to call our company um, crosses a go-go, we might mean that it was happening quickly or somebody's in a hurry. So can you think of another meaning for go-go uh, in English so that I can tell her back? Anyway, it's, it's very cute, I'm enjoying stitching on it. And I was using one strand, which you know is my goal for this year. Um, so, okay, I'll hope, hope to remember to put the picture in there. Okay, that was Monday. And then on Tuesday, I worked on Stone Street Stitch Works Winter Village. And I had already been working on this several years ago. I got so far, I have no idea why I stopped, but I'm stitching it with two strands on 28 count Sandcastle hand dyed Joblin from Witch Out. And it also comes in 14. So I know a lot of the hand dyed companies don't do Ada, um, but Joblin also comes in Ada. And I am using um, Weeks Dye Works instead of um, the DMC except for the white and I'm using anchor snow white um, okay so that's looks like I have a needle stuck in it I didn't take it out so forgive the needle but that's that's how much I had done I think I when I went back to it I was working on that house all right and then On Wednesday, I worked on this Thanksgiving freebie from Twin Peak Primitives. So that's that's what it's going to look like. And I, I'm staying up like long enough so it looks like something. So I just had to get some of the tail feathers done so that it looked like a turkey. And I'm using Overdyed. So I think this is, yeah, this is the General Art dark chocolate and this is a 35 count coffee dye from my stash that's been discontinued for freebie february i'm obviously trying to use things that are already in my stash and not buying new threads or new fabric just working from stash so uh, i thought that fabric was the perfect size for it all right and then on thursday i worked on land that i love from scarlet house and I am using her recommended Gentle Art Colors. Let's see, let me put this. That's what the chart looks like in color. And this chart can be found in the Star Spangled Stitchers files on Facebook. So if you're interested, you have to join that group, which is you know not hard to do. You just answer a couple questions. And this is what I stitched on that night. So she called for an interesting uh, choice for the blue field on the flag. It's soot from the gentle art. And I, I thought about changing it to blue. And then I thought, no, I, I, I kind of like it. It looks prim. And so I had this 32 count helix 
from Picture This Plus in my stash and it was the perfect size piece and I thought well that's how I'll get a little more blue into it but the soot does have a blue a blue cast to it but anyway I'm, I'm really liking that stitching with one strand and then on Friday since Teresa Kogut was my Friday's fave designer I chose a free chart from her to work on and this was a new one from December called Merry Christmas and if you go to her website there are I think three versions of this that stitchers have sent her um, and they're all done on different colored fabric so that was fun to look at I just have the very perfect piece of 32 Valor from Picture This Plus it was wide enough and it was a good color for Christmas I thought and the reason it was in my stash I had thought about cutting it in half and doing two smaller things with it but I decided to wait to see if I needed it for something else and I'm glad I didn't cut it but it had a slight discoloration on the fold line on the back and so if I had kept it at the shop I probably would have cut that off and then sold them as two smaller pieces but I decided that I could work perfectly well on the opposite side so glad I had that and then since yesterday the 13th was Galentine's Day which if, you know that unofficial holiday for celebrating women's friendships I decided to show something that somebody had gifted me a few years ago so this is Mirabilia's bumblebee and it uses some metallic and beads and some whisper and this is the finished piece it was given to me for Christmas in 2017 from my friend Monica Monica Merkley and her father and her brother always figure out a way to make her finishing ideas come true so she put it on this board and attached the bee scap maybe the bee scap maybe was that on it that might have been on it already who knows maybe it says something under there and she just covered it up but anyway I like when people repurpose things and then she had stitched it on I, I don't know why I keep wanting to say cobweb. It's Berkshire Hive fabric from uh, Fabric Flare. And that's one of my favorite fabrics. I think it's so, um, it's so pretty and interesting, but yet it's light enough that you can still stitch something on it and it doesn't compete with the design. So anyway, I don't know if you can see the beads and the metallic and the whisper, but that was a, a nice surprise that I had gotten that year for Christmas. And she also made me this project bag with this really pretty bee fabric. So today, I actually, I cheated a little bit. I started on it last night, um, but I'm doing a Quaker Valentine from Mill on the Floss Samplers. And let me check my notes. This is, you can get this chart two different ways what it looks like so I had found the Facebook post it was on February 13th 2019 and in order to get it to a good size to print I printed it at hundred and ninety five percent when I had that choice to make changes uh, with my printer uh, so anyway so I started yesterday and so I'm stitching with two strands of the thread gatherer in the burgundy which might be my favorite red ever it's silk and I'm working on 28 count natural cashel I, I know it's cashel because I had a few pieces that were cut the same size they might have maybe been for a series but I never uh, stitched it so I, I don't remember what it was for but one of them had the salvage on it so I know it's cashel but it's from a number of years ago so I found it to be a little more rustic a little more primitive it's a little bit thicker very interesting how linen you know being a natural product can come in differently all the time but anyway with the two strands of silk on the 28 count to me it was like stitching with yarn on burlap 
after having done one strand on higher count. So it was, this has been a really fun stitch. So I worked on it last night and I got that much done. So that's my freebie February. We're halfway through the month. I don't have all the rest of them quite planned yet, but I have quite a list to choose from. So I hope you've been enjoying that. All right, and then one more thing. I'm gonna do a giveaway and there's gonna be three winners. And I have three skeins of Weeks Dye Works, Love, Romance, and Sweetheart Rose. And there will be three winners that will win a set of all three. I, I have three sets. All you have to do is use the word weeks creatively in your comment. And then I'll use the random number generator and pick the winners next week. Okay, thanks. Hope you had a great Valentine's Day. See you next time.